Great grub. Fancy duds. What a place. While we're gone, I'm counting on you to answer the phones and wash the truck. And, as a trainee fireman, if there's a real emergency, call on the radio. Don't try to be a hero. 10-4, yes, sir. I'm a trainee, sir. Over and out, chief. <laughs> I got the firehouse all to myself! <laughs> Forget trainee! I'm a fireman! I'm a fireman! <laughs> beep, beep, beep! Look out, lady! <laughs> <laughs> Don't jump, little fella. I'll save you. Wait right there. Hey, what's the big idea? Rock Granite's the name. Saving lives is my game. I'm a real fireman. Around here to chow down, wear a uniform, and zip around in that flashy truck anyway. So you want to be a fireman? It's not easy, you know. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Let's just get to the good stuff. Uh-huh. No firehouse goodies till you prove you've got what it takes to be a real hero, like Rock Granite. And you start out by washing the truck. What? Oh, we're gonna have some fun together, you and me. Fire's one thing, but ever rescue a kitten from a tree? Big, fluffy, wuffy ones? <whistles> what a rush! And between calls, I'll teach you how to crochet pants. Knit one, purl one, drop one. No grub, no uniform, no driving the truck till I prove I got what it takes. Well, what do you know? Here's my chance. Well, howdy, ma'am. Can Fireman Woody borrow your baby doll for a safety demonstration? Ooh, oh my. Uh, Rock, do you hear a child crying? <laughs> Have no fear, Rock is here! Set yourself down while Woody's around. You're a trainee! Should do the trick. I'm coming, little lady. Ah! Ah! some baby booties for Junior. Woody, a hand. In fact, both hands. Your baby will have booties faster than you can say rock granite would look great in a cape. I'll make sure this guy doesn't help me out this time. <laughs> Really? All righty then. Ah! Ah! 
Oops. Have no fear. Woody's here. I'll handle this, trainee. Come back here. I got you now. Give me that nut. Trainee granted. Trainee? And why isn't the truck washed? How do you expect to become a real fireman if you don't do your job? But I... I, I Chief, the woodpecker. I mean, I... I, I can I crochet a muffler? A pair of socks. Chief, you look snappy in a knitted bathing suit. Oh, yeah. What a day. Thanks for saving my cart, woodpecker. As far as I'm concerned, you get free hot dogs for life. Oh, boy. Starting now? <laughs> Coaches are making fortunes on the pro circuit. There are TV deals, equipment endorsements, and big prizes. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Kids, with your talent, in my coaching, these babies are gonna make us rich and famous. This is great, Uncle Woody! Yeah, a real skateboard park! I called the scout in this article. He's coming to check you guys out, impress him, and we could get a pro skateboarding contract. Did you hear that, Louie? Those wooden heads wanna go pro. Well, I've been skating this park for months. If anyone's getting a pro contract around here, it's gonna be me. Louie, we got work to do. Okay, first things first. If you want to impress a pro scout, you gotta look like pros. Image is the most important thing. Um, I don't think so. <laughs> and now to make these two hot dogs look like you're skateboarding 100 miles an hour just standing still. Well, you got the hot dog part right. Ketchup and mustard, eh? <laughs> it's Billy and Louie. They're skateboard scum. Well, it's gonna take a lot more than their dumb tricks to stop us. Well, the scout's gonna want to see pro moves like the Freddy Freakout, the Zapata Zigzag, and the Rooster Rail Ride. We can do those, Uncle Woody. Come on, Louie. We'll help you do some moves they'll never forget. Great move! The Freddy Freakout! <laughs> you mean the Marble Meltdown. What a move, Nathan! The Rooster Railroad! Cock-a-doodle-doo! Cock-a-doodle-doo! 
little doubt. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, are you woodpecker dudes okay? Uh, yeah, I think so. Hey, go skate the kitty course. kids you came to see. Yeah? Well, I just about designed this course. I deserve any pro contracts that's being handed out. You're nothing but a smelly cheater. And you don't play fair. Hey, the only way for you to settle this is for you to decide for yourself, Chief. Of course, we'd love to race the little wooden heads, but look. They have annihilated and otherwise trashed the entirety of the course, so uh, no racing today. Says who? <laughs> <laughs> Yay, Uncle Woody! Way to go! How we gonna beat him if we never skated this course before? This is all your fault! So easy. Oh, Billy, I am severely unbalanced. No. Yeah, in the head, you flea dip. Get your grubby paws off me before I. <laughs> this is all your fault, Louis. Put me down. I'd be a pro now if it wasn't. If it wasn't. If it wasn't for you, I'd be. <laughs> Get back here! Totally rad ride. Dids, I want you guys on a circuit. Woohoo! We're going pro? Get some rest, coach. We start training 10 hours a day. First thing in the air. 10 hours a day? That's way too much work. No way! <laughs> <laughs> boy, oh boy, my favorite day of the year. The opening of bird watching season. <sighs> and there's my favorite sight. Bird watchers, all here to see me. Oh, I love well, this. Maybe Listen up, fellow candy. bird watchers. I'm so <laughs> <clears throat> On today's outing, we won't bother with any of our usual bird pictures. Instead, our favorite magazine is offering a $500 prize for the best oh. photograph of the rare spring-footed speckle-headed woodpecker. Step lively, fellow birders. Oh, watch out! That's going to be my prize. Oh, 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 that would that Be careful, birders. The forest is fraught with peril. Mm-mm. I love being the center of attention. Take all the pictures you want of this good-looking woodpecker. Hey, what am I, molting here? This is the best photo op of the day. Ah, oh, playing hard to get, huh? Now remember, bird watchers, don't trip over anyone as you rush off to get your best shot of the rare spring-footed speckle-headed woodpecker. And remember, the $500 prize! Oh, oh that woodpecker is as good as mine! Well, what do you know? 
If there's 500 smackaroonies for a photo of a woodpecker, who knows woodpeckers better than another woodpecker? Namely me. <laughs> the spring-footed, speckle-headed woodpecker is the court jester of the bird kingdom. It hops around with a wild cackle. <laughs> Why, I'd know that bird call anywhere. It's the spring-footed, speckle-headed woodpecker. Now to find the picture-perfect imposter pose. <laughs> oh, fiddle-faddle, I missed. Spring-footed, speckle-headed woodpeckers build intricate homes designed after famous landmarks they have visited during migration. <laughs> 500 buckaroos, here I come. Oh, speckle-head! Whoops and such. You're really starting to coil my springs, bub. Cheese and crackers, I've got the shot. Chips and dip, I say not. Oops, I missed. Now, get lost before I... Whoops and such. You, uh, looking for a good shot? Take this. My Thessal Featherborn always get my bird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All you're getting right now is my goat, genius. So you can see, the mating rituals of the spring-footed, speckle-headed woodpecker are varied, unpredictable, and have never been caught on film. Until now. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes! Stop! Get back! Vessel! Help! Say, are you looking for the love of your life? It's time to play Crossbreed! Will you choose Bachelor number one? Bachelor number two, or bachelor number three. is amazing. An amazing fake. <laughs> I know a spring-footed, speckle-headed woodpecker when I see one. And you are no spring-footed, speckle-headed woodpecker. You're nothing but a fake, and you are not getting the prize money. <laughs> yeah. Say, wait one picture flashing minute. So, you like to kiss me, do you? <laughs> then have I got a deal for you. Step right up and get a genuine photo of the speckle-headed woodpecker. Only $5. Oh, the Step right up. Step right up.
for the beach. Hmm. Looks like everybody else had the same idea. <sighs> One instant parking spot coming up. Maker to be ah! Hold it right there, rule breaking beach goer! Code 1175B strictly forbids the use of sharp objects on my beach. And this umbrella definitely qualifies as Hmm. Huh. I must have gotten the point. Ha! <laughs> point! I love it. Nothing like a good yuck on the beach! Point! Ah! No wonder no one uses this beach. Hey! What gives you, helmet-headed beach nut? Well, if it isn't the feather brain funster himself! I want my stuff back. You dig? According to my beach safety standards, your surfboard is too long. It's a hazard to swimmers. My longboard! Ah, a riptide could wash you straight out to sea in one of these. And my beach rules clearly state sunscreen must have UVA, UVB protection of 500 or more. But don't worry, I've got the ultimate sun protection just for you! Big surfing competition is about to begin! Oh, Cowabunga! That does it! I came to the beach to have fun! Ranger Meanie or no Ranger Meanie? I've got you now, Woodpecker! Uh-oh, uh that surf sheriff's gonna come after me for sure! But she won't be on the lookout for a Hawaiian woodpecker. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> when I get my hands on that... Yow! Hey, no hitchhikers. Hey, that's no Hawaiian surfer, dude! You're gonna snarf the competition for sure. Say, this is kinda... What, what, what's, the, what's the word I'm looking for? Fun? Fun! Yeah! Yeah! Oh no! Ho oh, ho! <laughs> Let's hang some beef! What? <laughs> Created a hang ten fun-loving monster. It's 
It's unanimous. The woodpecker and the ranger are today's winners. Ow! Mine! It's mine! It's mine! I've never won anything in my life! Okay, whatever you say. Say, hey, fellas, have you met Meanie, the greatest new surfer on the beach? Ow! Why? Well, I... Well, yes, I am. Hey, Meanie, show us that gnarly screaming banshee move. Oh, oh yeah. my. <laughs> Who should I take first? Pick Mo here. Like, Eenie, Eenie, pick Mo. Me, Miney. Oh, together that makes us Eeny, Meeny, Miney, and Mo. <laughs> Get it? Uh -huh. <laughs> Never mind. Just walk with me and look good. <laughs> Tomorrow I may even try one of those new fangled bathing suits when I surf. <laughs> Keep your eyes on me, boys. Oh, I'm just a fun fanatic. Woo! -hoo! Mama likes. Yeah. <laughs> Flash, Mrs. Panda of the Giant Pandas was presented with a bundle of joy early this morning. It's a baby boy. Be back in a flash with more trash. A baby at the pandas. Let's go see it. A baby at the pandas. Let's go see it. Mama. Mama. Pandas have a baby boy! So what? What's this? A baby panda? My, my! It's the only baby panda in the world. Oh, darling, Hold it! For a steal! They ain't named him yet. He ain't got no name. Let's name him Elmer. No, no. Jack, Jim. Joe. Bill. Butch. Uh, how about the... Elmer. Call him Wilbur. Yes, sir. Wilbur's the name. Quiet. 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 Quiet! I'm going to call him Andy. Andy Panda. Andy Panda, that's a good name. Yeah, that's pretty good. Andy Panda. Yes, that sounds great. That's a swell oh, name. Oh, oh, I still insist that Wilbur is a pretty name. I still insist that Wilbur is a pretty name. Are you feeling? Am I right? It's not me, Scott. Let me in. Let me in. Flash, Andy Panda is now six months old and has grown to be quite a problem child. I still think Andy ought to be called Wilbur. Andy, come with Papa and we go for a nice long walk in the woods. Why? So you can get acquainted with Mother Nature. Ah. Uh, where does Mother Nature live? She lives in this great big forest. In a house? No, no, not in a house. In a tree? No, no, not in a tree. Oh, Playboy, huh? Annie, 
and you come back home, oh, and they come back, yeah, for goodness sake, oh, and it's a bad hunter, so get it up. I'm gonna be in a news wheel. <laughs> Unquote.
Let's not get nosy, Bob. Hello, Mayor. Yes, this is the Mayor. You gotta do something about these rats. Yeah, you gotta do something about these rats. Well, call the health department. No, I'm the mayor, not a rat catcher. Rats are everywhere. Don't bother me with details. I'm a busy man. I'm a taxpayer, and I want action. Mayor, get rid of these rats. Rats? Who's a rat? Well, catch them yourself. Yes. No way. You better get me out of here. My house is full of rats. Call the fire department. Call the health department. Call anybody but stop calling me. <laughs> rats, rats, the town's full of rats. And what can I do about it? Listen, mister, what you need is a Pied Piper. Yeah, that's it. A Pied Piper. Woo, 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 woo. Who said that? I did. Relax, professor. I'm the Pied Piper. <laughs> Get rid of rats? For a small financial reimbursement, I'll run every rat out of this town. That's a deal, my friend. That's a deal. Hey, look, fellas. I'm dancing. I'm dancing. Jackson, that guy's from Basin Street. Nice wait, my boy, nice wait, and here's your reward. I'm a busy man. Good day, Square. <laughs> That's humiliating. I won't wait for peanuts. You chiseler, you cheap crook, you deadbeat, you, you, who's got a dictionary?
fucking sword on his tail? Well, um, don't bother me, Andy. Can't you see I'm busy? Guess who? like you put on my roof. what I did to the last guy that tried that? Why, well, I tore him limb from limb! <sighs> I got him! I got him! Look, Andy! I got him! 
here. Look, Eddie, he's got me. He's got me. <laughs> he's got me. Uh, uh, hold tight, Pop. Here we go. <laughs> the best pancakes in the whole world. Chow down, eat up, and fill out that uniform, little soldier. <laughs> You're gonna make your Uncle Hogwash proud. And always Ooh. remember our motto. The Antarctic core is a cold core, but it's... A lot of fun! Is hot. Our motto is... The Antarctic core is a cold core, but it is a good core. Junior. Oh, wait, that's a really swell motto, huh? Mm -mm, I gotta write that down. No more pancakes until you have completed your daily duties. Now, do them all, do them well, and do not report back to me until they are done. As you were, soldier. Ooh. Hey, come back here, you! <laughs> A cute little old penguin thief. Bye-bye, <laughs> penguin. Let's see. The first thing I gotta do is secure the perimeter of the base. Wow, the perimeter goes all around the base. This can make a soldier dizzy. Handles pancake thieves. The guard on duty. Ooh, that's me! Stop! Nothing! Oh. Mm. Soft snow. <laughs> you get back here with those flapjacks before I tell my uncle. Mm, better not tell uncle. <laughs> I gotta do is to clean the top secret mosquito bomb launcher. Mm, when I did this in training class, I itched for a month. Step one, remove the mosquito bomb from the launching mechanism. I know right where that is. And put it out of harm's way. Here it'd be good. Perfect. Step two. A good soldier needs to be able to do this operation blindfolded. Mm, I don't remember this part from training school. Now remove the scope. Where's the scope? Here, Scopey Scopey. Sneaky. Aha! You better drop that tall stack. Got him. Uh oh. Hey, that'll show you who's boss of you around here. Me. Oh, skaters! Get 
The Antarctic core is a cold core, but it is the... Uh, uh, I got it here somewhere. Well, it's a cold core, but it is better than a mosquito body in the butt. <laughs> Next thing I gotta do is organize the supply shed. With that sneaky penguin out of the way, this job should be way easy. Guess I showed that scaredy penguin a thing or two or three about me. Hmm? What's this? From the office of Uncle Hogwash. Pack all pancakes in the mess hall onto a snowmobile. Have Private Chili Willy, right, that's you, have him remove them from the base. We have information that an infiltrator may be after him. Hmm, brilliant strategy. That's why my uncle is the Sarge. Nothing gets by him, no sirree. Carry on, Private Chili Willy. No! You're not in the Antarctic core! You are just a stinky little penguin cheater, and I don't like stinky little penguin cheaters! Oh! Stop! Soldier! No, sir, but a penguin! Then you will finish them now and prove your Antarctic core material. Is that understood? Yes, sir! And why? Because the Antarctic core is a cold core, but it's what? A core with a lot of duties? No, it's a cold core, but it's... Sometimes warm! No, it's a cold core, but it's... It's your core, Uncle! Yes, no! on the planet's stupidest people. Meet a man who swallowed watermelon seeds as a child. Today, they harvest enough melons from his ears to feed a small farming community. Now, back to our number one show, how to train any dog using nothing more than big chunks of very expensive meat. I'm here with Smedley, the world's most renowned dog trainer who claims he can train any dog to do anything he asks. Yes, ma'am. Allow me to demonstrate my patented positive reward system. <laughs> Little canine friend, how's about I give you a big chunk of very expensive meat? <laughs> but first, can you give me the square root of pi? Astounding! Yup, there ain't a smarter critter alive than a well-trained dog. Mm-hmm. After that interview, the world will surely be the path to my doggy door. <laughs> Always remember, dog lovers, a busy dog is a happy dog. Fetch, little feller. <laughs> it's like my Uncle Lucius always said, if you love something, let it go. Cause a good dog will always bring it back. Good dog. Hold on one flea flicking minute. Now you get back here, you little prime rib raider, you. You're no doggy. You're a penguin. <laughs> huh? Mm -mm -mm. 
Now that's just downright cold. Someone should train you to have better manners. But it's not gonna be me. <laughs> Yeah, it's a well-known fact the dog is man's best friend. As such, he must learn to share the same interests as his master. <laughs> Take, for example, my deep abiding interest in the art of dance. Uh -oh. This here is a tutu for you, you. <laughs> Dancers are always a little high strung before a performance. Now see here, until you are willing to do as I say, there will be no more rewards. Is that clear as ice? You go on outside and think it over. When you come back, I want to hear music are playing and your jete are swaying. <laughs> Atlantic Ocean. That there is music to a dog trainer's ears. Nothing more effective than a well-trained dog to protect your domicile. Go mind the perimeter, and when you return, this here reward has got your name on it, Ace. Yes, sir. With a well-trained guard dog, any home is safe from a penguin break-in. You are one incorrigible little critter, huh? We're here for a follow-up interview with the world's most famous dog trainer. <laughs> I'm always happy to oblige the media. We hear you're branching out. You've trained dogs, and now you plan to train penguins. Is that true? <laughs> it's true, folks, and there's a penguin to prove it. No, I absolutely have not trained this penguin, dog nabbit. No, then we're going to see an exclusive on our program. Think of the ratings. Think of the customers you'll get out of this. <sighs> I guess sometimes you're the alpha dog, and sometimes you're the bone. What's he going to do next, Smedley? Oh, I can't even imagine. Follow him! I guess left to their own devices, some critters are a whole lot smarter than we ever give them credit for. Woof, 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 wow.